<laughs> everybody. Oh, I. Chester, where are you? Oh, here's Chester. I wanted to do, I wanted to do a little video. There's been some friends. In the beginning, when I started the channel, Chester used to be always running around. Oh, he's still running around. It's just, um, look at him, look at him over here. Look at him sitting on his bed there. We're gonna walk up closely to him, and I want you to just watch his face. Watch him. I'm coming up to him now, and just watch him, right? I, I, oh, yes. Isn't that right, Chester? Hmm? What do you think about all this stuff? These people wanted me to do a video on you. They did. They wanted to, to see you. And they wanted to see some tricks, maybe. Do you have any tricks for us? Could you give us some tricks? Come on. Come on. Sit. Sit. There's one. How about this other hand? What about... Uh, uh, sit. Relax. Relax. What about this other hand of yours? No, this other one. Yeah, that one. That's good. Now, he... He was born doing this. It's strange. He's just, he's super, super smart. He, you know, he's lab border collie. And uh, the beginning of his life was, was scary because um, he's just so smart. We, um, unfortunately, my wife, we were so concerned. We got him as a puppy. We went over to the mainland and we got him as a puppy. And uh, did we, bud? Hey, didn't we? He's just, he loves, he's a lover, lover. He just loves people. And he's a good, oh, look at me. And he's such a good watchdog, hey? Sit, sit, sit down. Sit down, bum. Hey? So, he, he's, uh, what happened is we, um, he got under the car. He got underneath the car. And we ran him over. Um, Wendy was pulling out of the driveway, and we heard the yelp. And uh, and it was Chester. And he, he uh, what had happened? It was the little Honda Civic, hey? Eh? Come on, come on, hey, over here. See, he's right by my side. See, he does this. He he's been trained to do this. He, the wife and the the daughter, they really spent time with him in that. He he was just smart, just to begin with. That lab, eh? Anything with lab in it. Okay. Let's go here. What, what do we got, Chester? What's going on here? Those axes are heading out. We're, I'm going right down to the office. I can't. I tried to. Friends, I'm I'm a logger. I, I don't. I, I, all the axes that have gone out so far have been me driving right down to the Purelator office, sitting there and getting the girls to help me and fill out the things and do the things. Now I'm online. So I go online and, I, and they were going to come right to the house and take the axes. But you have to, you know, print out things and put them into... Well, my printer does not hook up to... I'm just, I'm so freaking old school and not techy, friends. I'm driving these things down today. It is Thursday. I'm driving these 10 axes. Kenny Barnett's, Linda, Joe, uh, I got to wrap up Joe's Arvikas. Oh, the Arvikas came in. I was waiting for the Arvikas. Connor, Connor, buddy, you've been a super uh, patient man as well. The Arvikas were sold out for the longest time down at the, at the saw shops. There was some different handles. They came in with some different handles. I didn't like it. So they finally came in and, and the... the Anyways, they, they called me and I went down there and, and grabbed a couple. So, anyway, regardless, back to the story. Uh, all the axes are going out. Uh, Doofy, you know, we got Stuart, Linda's Hatchet. Um, where's the name brand? Okay, that's Doofy. Yeah, anyway, we got it all figured out here. Root Buster and that, everything's going. The little plastic things fell off. But I think, thank goodness that one's on there because I wouldn't have known the difference if I didn't. <laughs> You'd have done wrap it. That's Doofy's there. Yeah, that's Doofy's right there. Yeah, good. Okay, so uh, regardless, the animal, Chester, where'd he go? There he is there. So get this. I I'm not kidding you. He oh, look at him. What a freak. Give him a kiss. <laughs> So we run him over, okay, and it was bad. It, we we ended. <laughs> anyway, uh, Joe, I just got your text. Um, so so this freaking dog, he gets a, and and what had happened? We didn't run right over him. He got kind of munched down the low car. You know what I mean? He probably got. So he was taking the vet, the the wife, he because he ran around the house and he and he went and he hid under the over the house there. He freaked right out, and. Uh, 
this is this is interesting. This is really interesting. The, the first couple months of this dog's life, he's lucky to be here. That's why I share a nice bond with him. Because I am too. So So, look at him, friends. He, he, he just, he sits there with his balls to the breeze all the time. He just belly up, you know what I mean? That's, that's I think, what the human being needs to do. Um, is just stomach up to go. He's a wood man! He's a wood man. No inhibition, just, that's the way it should be. You know what I mean? Free. He don't care. He'd plop one down right in front of you. Dogs are funny that way. They don't care. They look at you and have a poop. Like what, how, how free is that? <laughs> anyway, so, okay, so he, he, um, I love dogs. He, um, so the wife and the kids take him to the vet. I'm off to work. I see he's fine. He's running around. He'll be fine. He, so I get a call about, Oh, two hours, an hour and a half maybe. And my wife's, they're crying. The whole family's freaked out. They're at the vet. They're crying their eyes out, saying he's got to be put down. I said, you do not do nothing until I get there. So I drove there fast. I put the Merc to the floor and just went there. And I got there and I said, uh, can I see the dog? Like, of course you can see the dog. So I go in there. And what it was is he had, he was full of blood. He had internal wounds. And uh, they said, we can't tell you to euthanize your dog, but we're telling you that animals in this this full of blood, I think he was 80% full of, and, and it, was, it had just happened. So hematoma actually gets worse the next day. The, it's a bruise, right? So it was going to get worse. So their plan was to put him down. And I just, you know, when the kids and, and mom and that, they were like, okay, well, they're bawling their eyes out. Like I, you know, they went out in the car. I said, well, just give me a couple of minutes with Chester. And I go in and Hogan went in and already said goodbye to him and so did Rita and that. And I just, I went in there and I looked at him sitting on the cold table there. And, 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 and the, the options were let him sit there on a cold table at night, all, all night there and, and see if he makes it or whatever. And I don't know what that was all about, but whatever. I said, you know what? So I said to the vet, I went out and sat down with the kids and the wife and I said, listen, I, I got a strange feeling about that dog. I don't think he's done. You know, I said, I, I just don't think he's done, you know. And uh, they went, no, dad, he, he's, let's just, let's just leave it. He's, 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 you know, I said, no, I said, I will make sure that you guys don't see a dead animal in the morning. If he dies, I'll stay up with him all night. And if he dies, I'll make sure that he's in the ground and you guys won't have to deal with that, obviously. So long of the short, uh, they all kind of wiped their tears and kind of, okay, dad, whatever, you know, what, okay, sure. Sounds good. So I went in and I says to the vet, could you wrap him up in a blanket? I'm going to take him home. And they kind of were a little bit like, well, what do you mean? Well, he could die. I said, well, yeah, but he could die here tonight too, couldn't he? So whatever. I said, the animal freaking needs his family and he needs to be surrounded in love. That's what he needs. Because that's going to pull you through in the end. You know it is. So I took him home in, in a blanket. And obviously he's here. But I mean, you know, I just watched him and stayed with him. And, and, and he was really just not, not doing much. Eh? He wasn't doing that right there, I'll tell you. So, so then guess what happened? It was not long after. He was digging around in Chloe. You remember Chloe? She's that dog you see once in a while where I put on, she's doing that big yawn and I'll put on like McCullough or something like that. You'll see her on there. Oh, she was a beautiful animal. Anyhow, um, she, he, got, uh, he got a little too close to her food. But she gnashed him one. And, and he's got the scar on his nose. I'll show it to you right now. Hey, let me see your face. There, let me see your face. Right there, you can see it. Where is it? Anyways, he's got a scar on his freaking nose. Right. Right there. There it is. <laughs> it's right there. See? 
There it is. You can see it. It's right there. So anyways, and what it did is it festered and went into this big thing he could barely see over top of it. <laughs> it was terrible. So anyways, I let it fester. We drained it a couple times. I did it myself. I'm taking a freaking vet for that. So he, he, he fought through that. Then he ate insulation as a pie, like, like a lot of it. It was coming out as, you know, it was all over. And my wife was always going to die and on. And, I, and that was fine. He made it through that. And then he ate a bunch of grapes. I don't think grapes are good for dogs. I don't know, but I'm learning all this. Well, the freaker, he didn't, nothing kills him. <laughs> nothing kills him. So that's the story of Chester, you know. Uh, he's Chester. That's who he is. And he just, he is just a good, good dog. He's smart. He'll be way out in the field there. Chester, come. Hey, come here. Come on, boy. Come on. He, he comes, you know, he just, he'll, he'll be, look at him. Here he comes. It's a good boy. Yeah, come on. Come on. I want to see you. I want to see you here a minute. Okay. What's happening? What's happening here now? What about this? Hey, hey, what about this? Can I have one of those? Mm -hmm. What about this other one here? Huh? How about this other one? You got no ah, other one? No, nope. other one. That's right, buddy. You're a good man. You're a good man. Okay, go about your day. Do whatever you want now. What are you going to do today? Try and escape or chase rabbits? Oh, I guess he's going to start licking his, yeah. Mm -hmm. So <laughs> that's Chester, friends. He's awesome. We love him. He's a great, great watchdog. Look at him looking at me. He just is a good, good dog. He's very people orientated. But, you know, if you come up the driveway, be careful. Because he's actually quite surprisingly lately, especially too. I think he's because he's getting a little older now. Not old by any means, but he's he's mean. He's been mean to people. He won't bite you. I won't. But he'll he'll look like he's gonna eat you. And a lot of people have gotten. They won't get out of their vehicles. Like he turns it on, eh? He's that. But that's a good thing. He's a great, great watchdog. Eh? Like I wouldn't be coming up here without dog going off. Like he looks like he wants to eat you. But we know him, so you know the old story. Oh, he's he's friendly. Don't worry. You know the old story. Well, yeah, sure. He looks like he's gonna eat me. So you gotta be, you gotta watch him if you don't know him. But he's good. Good watchdog. Anyway. Um, what else? Nothing. I don't think there was nothing else. I am off to the pure later. Right now, I have to go do it because, friends, that's Chester. <laughs> I'll start another video. Okay, so that's my dog, Chester, and, and a few people wanted to, you know, the old, I don't make him do a bunch of crazy tricks. The kids play around with him a little bit, and mom and that, but he's just, he's so smart. He's so smart, eh? Gosh, he's a good dog. Mm. Yo, what do you got for us? Hmm? What do you go to dirty here now, eh? <laughs> What's that, eh? Is that your, are you on the YouTube? Are you on the YouTube? Yes, you are. Good boy. So yeah, and we throw this ball out for him in the field there and Good dog. I hope that introduces you a little better to Chester. There's a couple guys asking about Chester, so there he is. Chester's the man. He is the man. Over and out.